let us pray. Almighty Father, the everlasting King of glory, we worship you, we thank you for all your mercies that you have saved unto us, particularly to the guild of organists of Nigeria. Thank you, Lord, for all you have done for them. Thank you, Father, for our leadership. Thank you for our membership. Thank you, Lord, even for this service of dedication. Lord, we worship you for all you are going to do, even for that which you have done. May your name be exalted. As we have gathered here this evening, we ask that you sanctify us so that our worship can be acceptable unto you. We pray that you will deliver us from every bondage of sin and you will give us grace to live our lives in newness of life. The service today is committed to your hand. Father, take total control. Minister to your people. Let their worship ascend unto you. Let the Holy Spirit, the host of angels, come to sing with us. Lord Almighty, and those who are going to be dedicated, we ask, Lord, that you will take their lives as instruments of worship unto you. Lord, we thank you because you have answered our prayers. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Good evening. Uh, it's supposed to be a dedication event, I agree, but that doesn't mean that we shouldn't cheer up. Uh, if you have not laughed at anybody, at least you should laugh at Magbada. Uh, it's different from what you are wearing, by special permission. I picked up my shirt and I found that it's out of date. So I had to uh, beg for, uh, but I hope you don't mind. We want to thank God for this occasion, but first and foremost, we would like to thank the provost. Thank you, sir. And the cathedral authorities for allowing us to use this place for this national event and also an interdenominational event, simply because Agnes plays everywhere. We also want to welcome the, uh, it's our first time really of coming here to felicitate with the acting, uh, acting organist and uh, master of the music uh, I think this event was specially made for him. All your colleagues are here uh, to wish you the very best in this business. Clap now, clap for him now. Thank you very much. To the appointees and their families, you are all welcome. The BOT members, I need to just say one or two things about those who are not able to come. Even as I welcome the representative of Dr. D.K. Lukoya, the Geo of MFM, uh, that's Professor Ayolabi. Am I correct, sir? Uh, he's representing uh, Dr. Lukoya. Please let's welcome him. He's the VC, he's the Vice Chancellor of MTU University. Mountain Top University. He is the VC. 
to his representative. I wouldn't want to say too many things about Dr. Lukoya yet until we get to history. I will do some of the talking before the real event, but it's going to be brief. I can assure you that you will leave this place in no time. Thank you very much once again for coming. Let me go through the history in brief. According to my people, a people without history is a people without elders. And when you don't have youths, you don't have a future either. So um, we started from somewhere, and that was the presentation which was held, I think it was in April of 2011, at the MFM International Guest House. But the inauguration was held in this place on the 2nd of March, 2014, by the kind permission of the provost then, who is now Bishop Pelu Johnson. Let us clap now. That's about nine years ago. So if we happen to come, not even nine years, maybe a short while after now, I think we would like to meet another provost uh, while the provost must have moved on. Amen? Now we want to briefly also state that, yes, we all started that day, you remember? We were all here. And uh, three of our members have gone to be with the Lord. That's the BOT. You remember that day, uh, James Sadekunli was a compare. And Dr. Wokoma also spoke, reminding us that it's a national event and we should make sure something happened in the South South. Then Pakai Odioni was at the organ. Um, the three of them have gone to join the St. Triumphant. May their souls rest in peace. We've made some progress in the sense that we have, we have a membership now from then. It was 59 plus 160. We are now about 200. That's not all. We should actually be more than that. And we spend time, seminars on seminars and equipping ourselves. Many events took place, one at our saviors, one at BAM, and then one was held last year at Good News. Also additional zones came on stream. The Southwest zone came on stream followed by the South-South. Do we have representatives from those zones here today? Southwest, you have been sent from Southwest to attend this event. Do you have any? Uh, thank you, welcome. Do you have any from South-South? South-South, I'm expecting a beam, a Macri. It, whenever he's around, he should uh, please try and see me. But let's face facts, we haven't made progress as we ought to have. And that means we have a lot of work to do. That's why we are now putting a team together to actually move this guild forward. There is a limit to what the BOT could do and as I told you, natural attrition also set in. And it uh, hit us big. So, the guild is for all organists. If you're an organist, it's yours. 
it is your business to ensure that this organization works. You are privileged now, don't forget, if you don't have at least one or two organs behind you, you have actually failed. So you need to make personal effort to have people you train. Then let us also remind ourselves that we set out with quite a lot of things to do, but we've not been able to. Don't give any excuse, pandemic, yes, but I think we all ate through the pandemic. That's why we are alive today. So that should not be an excuse per se. So let's make sure that going forward with the executive that will be inaugurated today and the advisors that will make themselves available to all of us, we shall move forward. Let me acknowledge in a very special way the support we have been getting from Dr. Lukoya. I need to emphasize it because we all know that that was where we have been meeting in Lagos since, uh, since uh, the beginning. And uh, we will soon uh, continue meeting. We'd like to thank him and um, the VC representing him, Professor I will be, please help us deliver a message to him. We appreciate his encouragement. We will ask for more. So it's an evening of special presentation. You can see what's happening here already. Uh, the master of the music himself, man the organ. I was just, I couldn't sing sometimes. That's what happens. When you hear good organs play, you will keep quiet and listen. I enjoy the playing. Well done, Jola. The choir will soon sing the City Choral. They are one of the best. We thank you for coming. You are here at the inauguration. Uh, you are here today. God bless your ministry in Jesus' name. Please win more awards. Uh, and when you are going on your trip next time, you can pass with me along. Thank you very much once again, Saimeka. Thanks very much. I think I should also acknowledge the fact that uh, you see some of our members, I mentioned the BOT members that we lost. Some painful losses we also sustained. Uh, in South South, we lost uh, Billy, B BME. And then um, here, we lost Reverend Afolabi. I'm sure many of you don't. We wouldn't be moody. They've gone to a better place. They don't have to worry about currency change. They don't have to worry about fuel scarcity. Uh, they are beyond all that. But while we are here and we have mo no money to spend, please let's enjoy ourselves this evening. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Um, it's a great gathering today of our musicians and uh, mostly the organists from various churches. Um, our organization is interdenominational. Denominational. It's not an Anglican, it's not Methodist, it's not Baptist. But all those who can speak with the organ, all those who can manipulate the organ, and all those who, who support it. You may, may not be manipulating it, but you support it. 
So we, at this point, uh, over the years, the GONIC has been manned um, by mostly the trustees. We didn't have a structure. We've been talking of uh, putting up a good structure that will move the GONIC forward. And this is the time to do it and with a mandate that um, they will really put the Guild of Organists in an enviable position in Nigeria. So that um, all this is to make organ playing in the church, to glorify God, make it something that is um, near perfect, make everybody that is an organist to really know the technique and um, how to play the organ to a reasonable extent. We will Oh Sorry, okay. Yeah. We're going to do rejoice uh, in the Lord always. Well, Sorry, we are given two options. Today, the Henry Purcell, and there is another one which uh, is anonymous. We will prefer to do that, rejoice in the Lord always. Not the one that's known by everybody by Henry Purcell. There is a, a one by an anonymous composer. So we're going to do that one.
Thank you. We go back to um, number eight, presentation of new appointees. Uh, they are in three segments. Board of Trustees, the National Executive Committee, and the Board of Advisors. I was explaining we are hopeful that with this new organization, the guild will be able to fly high. A very good research was made. We weren't in a hurry to put these um, bodies together. We really looked at people and their capabilities to be able to uh, get distinguished musicians, organists, and musicians who will run the affairs of the Guild of Organists for some years. We will be starting with um, recognizing members of the Board of Trustees. This is when we call you, you stand up. Mr. Jai, you give them a handshake and uh, welcome them into their new uh, appointment. Brigadier General Adesa Charles Bosman, trustee. Oh, well, I think he gives some excuses. Okay, another one. It's a veteran musician. Most of you who went to secondary schools in Lagos State will know him because he was, or he anchored music in Lagos State for many years. And that is Mr. Ebenezer Omole. A round of applause for him. <clears throat> Oh, can I make it more? Sorry, sir. I think you stand here, sir, and they will come and take a handshake from you. That will be it. So they come all out, and we see their full strength, their full length. So please, Mr. Mole, <laughs> congratulations. <coughs> a trustee now. Yes, we can go back to this. Yes. Uh, Obele Olamina is from Port Harcourt, he's from South South. At the moment, he's uh, residing in the UK. Um, he had the desire to come to this event, uh, but had a little hitch. So we admit him, admit him in absentia. Another one is a veteran musician, a choral master known Knew him far back as the 80s in Ibado with his, uh, what was the name of that choir? Um, Nightingale. Yes. He was also a teacher at the University of Lagos. Um, uh, University of Lagos, yes. Taught music for so many years, has produced so many musicians. I'm talking of Reverend Yemi Akimbelu. Give you a handshake for you, Jamie. Well done. <laughs> it's an old friend, very old friend. <laughs> we now come to the National Executive Committee. These are the people that will either make this. Gonic fly high or fly low, but we have implicit trust in them. As a young man here who has been a musician, I knew him many years ago. I've been in music for quite some time. Now, in 90s, 80s, and 90s, I did um, 
I was the coordinator of uh, Shell Coral Competition for Secondary Schools. And that took me around many areas in Lagos. And one young man then was in secondary school. And he was so enthusiastic about this. He was coming with his school. Even when he left the secondary school, he started training the choir of the school and bringing them to this competition and also winning. He's been so enthusiastic about music. After that, he went into formal study of music and he has gone to the doctorate degree of um, studying music. And we found him to worthy to be the president of the Guild of Organists. I'm talking of no other person than Dr. Samuel Ajose, who is the president of the Guild of Organists. Yes. He's a very young man. Those days I used to knock his head. <laughs> Yes, so we're around transferring all our energies. When I was with you, like you, ah, I walked in four hours. So we're transferring the energies to you to carry the meal. And, well, another one, I've come across uh, so many musicians, so many have worked with me. Uh, this uh, second person is an organist, is a pianist, but when he was admitted to the Muslim School of Music, I tested his voice and found out that he is a fantastic tenor. Um, when I was going to do Beethoven's Ninth Symphony, the Choral Symphony, I auditioned, and I found him to be a worthy tenor. He's working really hard. This general secretary is Olubemi Okunuga. He's also the son of a, a clergyman. Before now, he has been working, 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 working. Congratulations. <laughs> well, we have another person, distinguished uh, musician. When you say Agidiba in Igbo, it means you are like this. The one Agidiba. Yes. So, I will. No, he's going to bring that his might and strength into the Gonig. The treasurer, Mr. Babatunde Olorumbi. Thank you. We have other members of the executive. Hmm. Where is Abio Doju? Ah, Mr. Abio Doju, he was the one who did the recital. Hmm. This man knows what is Oime, what is between us, but he's a fantastic <laughs> organist. <laughs> he knows what is Oime. Okay, congratulations. <laughs> then, engineer Wilcox. Abi, thank you very much. Please, he's a member of the National Executive. We have a lot of energetic people in this executive. So we really hold you. Yeah. Yes, it's all the way from Port Harcourt. You know, this is the national body of, um, of, the, of the Guild of Organists. So we have people from south-south, from southwest. Um, we are trying to inaugurate other sections as they organize themselves. We are looking forward to Southeast joining, even Abuja joining. Yes. Okay. Dr. Adeolu Akere Dolu. Yes. Hello. Congratulations. He's a member of the National Executive. Thank you. He came all the way from Oshubu. Yeah. So, Gondig is re represented everywhere.
Okay. We even have a mem our members spread beyond Nigeria. Mr. Shegu Akifenwa, he lives in UK, but he's a member of the executive. He will uh, coordinate him from there uh, because this is also an international body. Yeah, that's about the national executive. Please stand up again, members of the national executive. Give them one more round of applause. <clears throat> They're all gentlemen and people who are determined to make Gunnig succeed. Please sit down. We have also experienced and veteran musicians who will be on the board of advisors. They will be able to tell us when we are going right and when we are going wrong. They all very, very, very experienced musicians. Um, we have somebody who is not here, but is one of the Nigerians. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, valued organists. I consider him one of the best organists we have in this country. But he's currently studying in Italy. And that is Mr. Ibiye Fiebo Harry. Most of us know him. Please give him a round of applause. He's studying in Italy, and we are, we are looking forward to his coming back to Nigeria and to um, help the organ playing in this country grow. Another one is engineer. Uluwa Muyiwa Akimejiwa. Akimejiwa, you see? Yeah. Congratulations. It's one of the members of the Board of Advisors. They will direct us how to go. Um, if we are going wrong, they will bring us back. If, they will, if we are going right, they will continue to encourage us. <clears throat> hmm. This man I have known for so many years. The man is indefatigable. He doesn't give up easily. To do anything, he will just be moving. He believes in music so much. Has written so many music books in theory and in practice. And uh, recently, you know, all of a sudden, I didn't know he was doing that. But all of, all of a sudden, I saw in the Facebook or in the platform of Gonic that he has acquired a doctorate degree in music, and that is uh, Dr. Shegu Fadei. Congratulations. The next person, I wonder if he's Akino Lubi. It's not here, but he's a member of the Board of Advisors of the Guild of Organists. Engineer Babajite Idou. Oh. The man is also like us. <laughs> like us. Who look like uh, Obasanjo, you know, without money. <laughs> Yes. <clears throat> Dr. Dayo Oyedu is not here. Okay. Hmm. This one is also a, a very well known name in the music circle. He's been leading church choirs, he's been an organist, one of the finest violinists we have around. Currently, the director of music at the Saviour's Church, TBS, Mr. Theophilos Oka. It's my good friend, though. <laughs> And 
professor. Soji Adejumo. Oh. Prof. Prof. I salute you. I salute you. Yeah. Now, the last year, but not any means the least, is Reverend Canon Bola Omodu Elori. Yeah, in graph, of course, we know him. I read, you know. If you if you want to know anything about hymns, go into the um, yeah. There's this platform he he presents, and he tells you every details of every hymn from the scriptural point of view and from any other point of view. It's a pleasure, sir. I've not met you in person, actually. You know, but it's a pleasure that you're here, and. Um, you will help us promote the cause of organ playing, how it's related to hymns and things like that. We're going to invite you someday to give us talk on, well, spiritual interpretation of, of hymns while playing. Thank you very much. I thank you. I thank you. Thank you very much, Prof, the VC of, um, <clears throat> yes.
a wonderful performance, just too wonderful, by Ayo Lurotin, a very prolific composer of all musical instruments. Um, we also encourage writers to write music, music for the organ, so that we're not doing Bach always. We can do Shoande, can do Luroti, we can do many other composers and have a national identity of uh, playing Nigerian organ music. Uh, so I hope the new executive will uh, help us to achieve that by identifying composers who will do composition for the organ. And now, as Mr. Jai leads um, the newly appointed to the to the altar, um, we take the next hymn, Take My Life and Let It Be. I think after the three first three verses, you can start going. Take my life and let it be. Let us pray. Eternal Father, you are in the business of calling people to partner with you to bring joy to people of this world. We thank you at this time because it has pleased you to summon your children to be at the helm of affairs in the Guild of Organists of Nigeria. You have called them into various offices and they are acknowledging today 
that without you, they cannot make a success of this assignment. And that is why they have come before you seeking your face for your help. Lord in heaven, we pray that you will countenance these, their worship this evening. You will endure them with power, with understanding, with the wherewithal to go about this assignment that they will not fail you, that they will not fail humanity, that they will continue to shine forth your light in this generation. Father in heaven, we pray at this time that you have caught them. Lines will fall onto them in pleasant places. They will never be put to shame. They will not beg for bread. The peace of mind that they require to do this work, Father, grant unto your sons. Bless them in all their ways. Pray for board of trustees. You know them by name. We pray for National Executive Committee. You know them also. Same board of advisors. These your children will take the guild of organists of Nigeria to greater height during their own time in the mighty name of Jesus. I receive for you the leading of the Holy Spirit. You will never take a step without the express permission of the Holy Spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. What you will do that we sink this guild you will never do such in the mighty name of Jesus. At the home front, you will not be stressed. Where you walk, you will not be disturbed. Because the Lord will stand by you and he will grant you victory. Thank you, eternal Father. We pray through you the light of church music in Nigeria will not be extinguished. It will continue to shine. Many will come to that light. And many will find joy in church music. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. May I now invite the president, national president, Dr. Samuel Ajose, to give the programs for the year 
evening, everyone. It's my pleasure to um, welcome all of you to this event uh, on behalf of our Board of Trustees, members of the National Executive. I'd like to say thank you for coming this evening. For this year, by God's grace, we will focus our attention on the objects of the Guild as you have it on page 14 of your program. This will be our focus for the year. We will pay attention to capacity development program of our members. And one of our programs will be to kickstart the service plane certification program, which it's the modalities of the exams have been completed, and by God's grace, the maiden edition will take place between May and June this year. Centers will be communicated to prospective uh, candidates. So after this uh, meeting, you may want to speak to any of us to get uh, details, or you send an email to uh, the guild's email. We will also continue with our zonal workshops. We've been doing that in the past years. We are going to intensify efforts. We are going to do more so that we can develop the uh, capacity of our members. Every year, we stage at least one concert. We hope to increase it to two. But very urgently is our appreciation concert for one of our board of trustees who has been very supportive, and that is Dr. D.K. Ulukoya. Uh, in due time, later in the year, we would communicate to you. We also continue with our statutory meetings at national level and at uh, zonal level. We hope and pray that with the support of our BOT, members of Board of Advisors, uh, the executive will move ahead to inaugurate other zones. Currently, we have two. Um, the south, south, southwest, Lagos as a big zone, and then we are expanding to uh, other uh, locations in the country. So, as you have come to uh, rejoice with us and celebrate with us, it's also time to call on your support. From time to time, we will call you to support us as individuals, as groups, during the course of the year. Without wasting much of your time, I want to say thank you again for coming. I know the secretary at the appropriate time will come to appreciate you. But as uh, the president, I'd like to say thank you for coming. Whenever you hear our call, please, we hope that you'll be glad to attend our call. Thank you. Have a wonderful evening.
Shall we be seated? We want to thank the Lord God Almighty for uh, time spent in his presence at this moment, especially at this service of dedication of um, new appointees, the board of trustees, the executive members, and also the board of advisors. We also at this time want to render heartfelt gratitude even to the provost. We want to say a big thank you for uh, allowing us and for always having us at heart. And also for um, the other ministers here, we want to say a big thank you. In the same vein, we want to thank the master, the acting master of the music and other supporting um, organists. I want to say a big thank you for being available and not only that, for being very supportive even from the word go. Thank you, thank you. And we mustn't forget the media. Um, yes, thank you so much for anchoring and covering this um, program. The Lagos City Chorale, ably led by Sir Emekan Wokedi, we thank you for being there. Thank you for the sonorous singing. Thank you for um, not just the showmanship, but also your dexterity at what you do. Thank you. Thank you. Um, at this point, I want to crave our indulgence uh, and the permission of the provost um, before the prayer and benediction. We'd like to have um, a group photograph. And at this strategic point, with the board of tr trustees and um, the appointees. But just before that, I also want to say a big thank you uh, to everyone present at this program. Um, not only are we music enthusiasts um, and organ music um, lovers and those who appreciate um, choral singing, we want to appreciate everyone that has come far and wide. We also want to thank um, God for those who have connected um, online. I want to say a big thank you to the members of the Board of Trustees for their doggedness at making things work, even in the Guild of Organists of Nigeria. The, I must say that this is a reflective, uh, a period of reflection for the Guild of, um, for the members of the Board of Trustees. And for the executive members, it's a call to serve. Um, board of the advisors, we look forward to your support. We look forward to your um, support, yes. Lastly, may I just call on every organist here present to, by way of rising, appreciate the work done by, should we call them, saints triumphant. We have a number of organists who have served, who yearned or who longed for a day such as this. Not only do we have those we have actually worked with in presence of Pa Kyle Deoni, Alabo, um, Dr. Nwokoma, and a number of those who, even before persons were of, like us were born, have thought of a day like this. May we, members of the guild, or organists in particular, please rise up and show a sense of appreciation to their yearnings. Please, thank you for a moment. Please say after me, long live the Guild of Organists of Nigeria. Thank you. Please be seated.
once again, I want to say a big um, thank you to all vicars present, all um, presbyters, all men of God here present. We want to say a big thank you for being, I, I can see a lot of us present and we know that, yes, you have to do this. May God continue to reward our labor of love in Jesus' name. Most importantly, once again, I want to appreciate the provost of the cathedral, um, the very Reverend Adebola Ojofe Itimi. Thank you so much for giving us this honor and all the ministers of God present. Thank you very much. Please, uh, when we step out, we'll have uh, refreshments at the door. And at this time, may we have um, the media and uh, cover. Let us just come up. That is the members of the Board of Trustees with the new appointees. Thank you very much. We'll do that just in a moment. Thank you. Let's have the appointees. And we also thank God for the representation from Dr. D.K. Olukoya. Thank you very much. The Lord be with you. Let us kneel to pray. God of all creation, we know that every good and perfect gift comes from you. We thank you today for the gift of music and musicians, especially members of the Guild of Organists, of Nigeria, who are here today for a new beginning in you and with you. We thank you for making them custodians of church music through their services in the body of your son, Jesus Christ. God, our Father, we ask that you bless them as they continue as trustworthy guides through the ministry of music worship. Especially, I want to pray for those who have taken the mantle of leadership of this guild. Bless them with uncommon wisdom to facilitate music that brings you glory, music that transcends barriers of race, class, gender, denominationalism, and ethnicity. May their gifts create the atmosphere that will lift up your son, Jesus Christ. Because he said, if I be lifted up from the earth, I will draw all men to myself. Father, use your children to lift up the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We ask that you continue to cause them to create and share the gift of music through their playing of the organs in their different shades and forms 
and in the training of others for the advancement of church music in Nigeria. Lord God, gracious and merciful, we pray for their strength and the strength of their families and loved ones. May they find joy in their work and may it fill them with peace, comfort, and purpose. Lord, let all creation sing your praise and the host of heaven make music in your presence. Bless all of us who are here gathered as we prepare to, this, to depart this your sanctuary. Keep us always within your watchful eyes and support us through the troubled waters of this world that we will not fall, that we will not fail. Tomorrow and this week, may your spirit continue to lead us. Thank you so much, our Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Unto God's gracious care and protection, I commit you. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord grant you his peace, love, and joy. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always.